very good afternoon and welcome here to Guadalajara. We're here, of course, for the CSI Four Star. Uh, it's a show that's going to have so many great competitions over the next few days, taking in not only the Longines FEI World Cup Series, but also the young riders as well. But uh, here this afternoon, we're really focused on this 1 meter 50 competition. Those that came to the Longines Global Champions Tour in Mexico last year, you might remember this horse, finished second in the 145, and you were here as well, Jackie, and I think this one had a good finish yesterday. Yes, it did. It was third in, in the Welcome Cup yesterday, which... <coughs> really handy to have that, a kind of initial day as well, if the, the horses aren't used to this ring or whatever, just to settle them in. Quite like this horse's jump. Time looks f absolutely fine for him. Jumps nicely over that final our oxer. First clean round, and yes. there's our first clear 69 29 and clear all the way for Alejandro Mills and Bartender. I like that horse. Really, really nice. And the long gene ranking class at Val de Bravo last year. He's had numerous placings as well that we do know about throughout Mexico. He's at Back at number 25, it is Rodrigo Lambre for Brazil next. Towards this, well, this sort of final Well, that double. has worked. <laughs> Let's see. He did, he did more than eight. He did nine. That worked well for it him. It jumps it nicely. Uh, 69.01, so a jump off is guaranteed. And it's clear, clear round for Rodrigo Lambre. And Shaka uh, yeah. yeah. Has a lot of scope. She jumped that quite easily. Let's just have a look. Is he just even over that upright? Really flicks up behind. Yeah. Uh, the fences we see out in front of us at 1 meter 50 in the height and the prize money. Well, this afternoon it sits at $35,000. Uh, we pick up the action once again with Alberto Sanchez Cozar and his nine-year-old gelding union, De La Natria. Now, it's notable that after 19 rounds, 12 of them have had time faults. Mm. So... He did nine there. He rode seven after that triple bar and it worked out. But that is long inside that combination and that and a lot several horses have had B down. And then here has also been challenging to the last line. He rode quite well. Yeah, nice way to start, start things off again. Yes. 69-01, it's clear. We're told in fact that is Jose Alberto Martinez. And no limit, giving us our third clear. Oh, we had the wrong. Yes. So we're up to three clears, two on one time fault, and then we've got three on. So the jump off is starting on fence four from the original round, which is the Longines Oxer to the Audi uh, jump that then they turn around to fence six, which was the triple bar, now an Oxer, down to what is now an, a com an in and out and not the triple combination. And then they make a left hand roll back turn to the orange. They jump the Longines Oxer that was not in this round. I mean, in the first round. That was nicely done. Yeah, off to a really good start. And this rollback, you can really go as tight as you like now because with it only being an ox, you don't need quite as much power. So from this, they'll jump to this oxer that was not in the first round, and then they'll roll back to the vertical, jumping it the opposite way how they jumped in the first round. So it's the turn way there now. and gallop. 
So it's just one that comes down, finishes on the 4.46.31. Of course, they're all guaranteed the six to be heading through to Saturday. The Longin FEI World Cup jumping here in Guadalajara. So it's all about the money, as Jesse J would say. <laughs> $35,000 to play for here this afternoon. Okay, let's see if Mr. Lombre is going to go for it here. Yeah, he's standing by. And there he is, Rodrigo Lambre with uh, Shaka Samia. Is that what we decided? Tough when there's only six in the jump off and you go quite early. Do you go for the clear that's economic or go for broke? Seems to be his plan. He's not going crazy. Trying to be the one to beat. This horse is a bit deceptive, though. Wow, he cut Great that corner ride. well. Really, Beautiful. Really, really nice. Uh, 43.15. That's the standard, then. That's what they've got to be. They've got to be clear, and they've got to be faster than 43.15. Jumps that at an angle. Ooh, lucky there. This is a lucky day. He's up on the clock, but he needs to keep pushing on. Is he going to be fast enough? Yes, I think I he think is. He did. Yes, he is. 42 on six. Brand new leader, Jaime Ascaraga and Anton. Right up at the top. He'll be so happy with that. Once he, he did that nine in the first line, I knew that he was going to. And the angle to, the, to six was an interesting choice. That was such a nice ride. I'm not quite so sure if it can be beaten, you know. There's the result on screen there. Jaime Escarga takes the win with Anton. Rodrigo Lambre and Shekimia in second. Jose Alberto Martinez and no limits sit in third. And Miguel Alexardo in stand in fourth. There's Alejandro Mills. And there'll be another chance to see some of the very best from uh, Mexico, North America and a few other nations as well coming forward to compete. And it's another jump off competition as well.